Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 57. So we've been talking about teams in KW Command and what that kind of looks like, and so today is day three of that series. And today we're going to talk about contacts and what that looks like when you have a team um, with regards to members on your team, etc. So as the Rainmaker, I want to make sure that I get into my account, I click on Contacts, and then I select Team and choose my team. So here's Summit Property Group in Houston, the team that I'm affiliated with. And you can see as soon as I click on team, I have this drop down box now become available. So previously, if I click on clear, that drop down box is not there. So when I select my team, you can see that as the Rainmaker, personally, I have 1700 plus contacts, right? 1766. However, as a Rainmaker, I can click on select member I can click on my wife's account, who's one of my team members, and I can see how many contacts she has. So she has 97 contacts. I can click on all, and that's going to be my 1766 plus her 97, and you can see that I can then see all of the contacts that are in our combined database. So if I go back and I just click on my contacts, and say there's somebody in my database, let's see, I don't think AA Seller is in her database, I'm pretty certain. And so you can see AA Seller is not there, but maybe that's a lead that came in or a contact that I want her to work. I would come back to my database. I would click on AA Seller, the checkbox next to, or I could come down here to the three ellipses, either way, and I would click on Share Contact or Share Contacts. Okay, so I could do more than one, or just one at the time. Either way, it's gonna bring up this pop-up box. So which team am I sharing it with? Yep, this is my only team, Summit Property Group. Who am I gonna share it with? So which team member? So I'd click on Nicole Keith, and then I would share the following contacts. Now, can she or can she not edit the contact? I can select that as well. So I would click on Share, and now that is a contact that she is now eventually going to be able to have in her database. So I'm seeing that that's taking about a minute or two. Um, I did do a test with A. Crouch and Ashante as well. And so let's take a look and see what that looks like. So I can basically come in, let me show you from her side of things, is, whoops, login as her account. So it's now gonna show in her contacts, she has 97 that are hers. However, if she click on, clicks on Show Shared Contacts, well, it actually did much quicker than I thought. So it actually went to 100, and you can see A. Crouch, Ashante, and AA Seller have now been added to Nicole's database. So what I would do is say, hey, I have somebody that I want you to work with. I'm gonna share their contact information with you within command. Their names are AA Seller. I want you to go ahead and start working with them. Since I said that she could edit the details, this one has a perfect score, but let's say, right, Ashante, she's at 52%. Um, she, Nicole starts talking to her and finds out that her birth date is um, 3-15-78, which is an amazing birth date. I don't know who else's birth date that is other than my twin brother, um, but I'll let you guys think about that for a second. And puts that information in, she can now edit it, move that health score up because I gave her permission to edit. I also have the ability, as you saw, to limit that permission and not allow her to see it. So that's basically what it looks like with a shared contact. Essentially, she can see it when she clicks on Show Shared Contacts. When she doesn't, she can't see it. So she has to click on Show Shared Contacts and then she sees those three that I shared with her from my account. Again, going back into my account, if I log out and I click on, let's get back into mine. Why is this not doing, there it goes. Get into my account. I can get into contacts and show shared contacts. I've got to make sure my team is selected. So this is what I was doing originally. I'm like, why is this not working? So select a team, then show shared contacts. Let's choose Nicole's name and I can see 97, right? If I click on mine, I can see no contacts found, but if I click on all, it's gonna give me all 1863. So I can't share contacts with myself. I'm pretty sure that's why it says no contacts found. 
Um, however, if I want to, again, share contacts with someone on my team, I would just make sure I'm viewing my contacts only, right? And then I would choose which contacts I want to send over, select bulk action, share contacts, and then go through this drop down box. So that's essentially as the rainmaker how I can share contacts with people on my team if those, you know, contacts come in, there are people in my database somebody calls and wants to, you know, buy a house and I don't work with buyers or whatever, I want to share that with the buyer's agent on my team. I could easily share that with Nicole and then Nicole could take that from there and run. So that's how sharing contacts works for teams within KW Command and that is today day 57 of the Command 66 day challenge 2.0. Hope you guys are finding value in this little mini series of the Command 66. For you individual agents, don't worry, we'll have some more videos coming for you starting as soon as tomorrow. And yet otherwise, I will look forward to speaking with you then. Have a great rest of your night, guys.